I'm so anal about like my loads. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and here I help premium content creators harness the entrepreneurial skills that they're learning right now in order to build a better future. Today's video is going to be another episode of my series, The Bimbo Book Club, where I read books so you don't have to. Today's book that I just finished reading a couple days ago, it's one that's been on my list for probably almost like a year now because everyone talks about it. And I just finished reading The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. This book, it talks a lot about automating systems in your business and also growing your wealth so that you have more time while also making more money. It can be difficult when your business is something as intimate as OnlyFans to find ways to automate it that don't require either you to be physically there or for you to work on your own content due to its sensitive nature. You may or may not be worried about that. So I just wanted to provide this list so that you have some ideas of maybe ways that you can free up time as a content creator that maybe you haven't considered before. So here are my 10 ideas to help automate your OnlyFans and buy you more time. The first one is to automate your finances. I know that Farnoosh Tarabi always talks about this and how much money you can save and time you can save if you just enroll in auto bill for as many of those bills that you possibly can. And if you are working towards some of your saving goals, there are also some external online tools that will automatically withdraw funds from your account and put it into your savings and investments. So the first thing you can do, it might take like one afternoon, but it will save you a lot of time moving forward if you just take that one afternoon to automate all of those payments. And then it's just like you're saving, making more money without even thinking about it. And who doesn't love that? I kind of put these in order of like the most accessible to the least accessible. So feel free to click off whenever you want to or stay the whole time so that you can find out, you know, maybe in the future, what are some options that you can look into. I'm reading We Should All Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers right now, and I'm actually on her chapter about building up your team. She and basically every other entrepreneur that you'll ever hear talk about it, they'll say that you can't scale your business without building a team around you. And like I said, due to the sensitive nature of our content, it can be hard to find people that we really trust to work with so some of these, the people that you're working with don't even need to know what your job is because they're not directly involved in your business. Just like the second thing I'm gonna talk about, which is ordering meals. So you can either order from somebody who works out of their own home. There are plenty of local people that do this as like a side hustle. Otherwise you can order through a mailing service. I use Factor 75, I really like them because it's all healthy food and it's like organic, non-GMOs, and it's fully packaged. It's literally like a lean cuisine, but full of fresh food and it's fully prepared and they send it to me once a week with six meals in it. And then I just spend for myself whenever else I need to eat. I did used to do eight, but I felt that was a little excessive just for the amount that I eat. I really snack a lot more than I eat full meals. So I noticed some of my food was going to waste and I don't like to do that. Some of the other options that I know my friends and family like are like Blue Apron, HelloFresh. And I'm sure if you know anyone who uses one of these services, they have a coupon code. I know I have like $60 off that I can send to people. So if you're interested in that, why don't you just comment down below? I think that I have to have your email. So maybe we can like DM on Instagram or something. But if you're interested in trying a box from Factor 75, make sure you comment down below. Maybe put your Instagram tag and I'll DM you and we can hopefully get that coordinated. Obviously there's like a cap on how much I can do, but 
because I don't usually get that many comments. Maybe in the future this will be irrelevant, but as of this point, I will be able to manage it if you want to try out this meal service. Just comment your Instagram tag below and I'll shoot you a DM if I have free boxes. That's my caveat. If I have some, I'll DM you. If I don't, I won't. Sorry. And eating healthy kind of leads me into the next item on this list, which is number three, hire a personal trainer. Now, I know not everyone really cares about this. There are some women who are thick and that is how they make their money because that is what their target demographic wants. I'm not saying that you have to be thin or you have to be fit in order to be successful on OnlyFans. I'm saying that it's important to be aligned with your branding and if someone subscribed to you because you were this fit gym girl and then you stop, then they have every right to unsubscribe from you. And I think that a lot of the women who want to work out don't have the time to because they don't know how to lift weights. They don't know a variety of different things. So that's why I don't really go to the gym. I go to the gym and do cardio for 30 minutes, like three times a week and call it a day. But if you really wanna get into lifting weights, or you just want some expert advice, it may be beneficial to you to hire a personal trainer so you can save that time that you would be planning out what you're gonna eat, planning out what workouts you're gonna do, and also trying to find someone to go to the gym with who is on the same level as you. There's just so many benefits to hiring a personal trainer. Number four is to outsource your laundry service. I know that I said that I put this in order of like the most accessible to the least accessible, but this is very accessible. It's really not that expensive if you don't have that much laundry. I used to do this, but I stopped doing it because I'm so anal about like my loads. And basically they were like, I don't know, I was gonna have to like bring in each separate load and I do my own loads. I do like seven different loads when I do laundry. I'm like one of the crazy Gen Z's where my mom was a boomer and never let us in the laundry room. So I am also very anal about my laundry and I didn't really love doing this, but it is available to you if you would like to use that outsourcing opportunity, which leads me into number five, which is hiring a cleaning service. This is another option to outsource that I don't actually use, but I've actually been considering it because when you have a clean space, it just like clears your brain and you can work a lot better. And so I think about how much easier it would be if every week I didn't have to spend those hours cleaning my floors, washing my dishes and dusting events. This is another great way to outsource some of your chores to someone who doesn't need to know what your job is, but you're still buying more time to work on your entrepreneurial journey using OnlyFans as a stepping stone. As we transition into some of these later items, I'm going to bring up some people that probably will know about what your job is. So just Keep that in mind as we are moving forward because number six is to hire a social media manager. I know that I have spoken about this in a previous video. I have a social media manager and once a week, every Friday, she sends me a list of trending audios and hashtags that I can use on TikTok or Instagram just so that I don't have to waste my time scrolling and trying to do that market research for myself when somebody else could be doing it for me. Social media has this habit of shoving content that you already would like kind of down your throat so that it's enthralling, it's captivating, and you don't want to click out of that app. So one of the things that I have done in order to combat that is I have a social media manager who sends me those trends so I don't have to go through things as much. I mean, I'll still scroll through TikTok or whatever, but I already have all of the trends listed out for me. And anything additional that I create is just for shits and giggles. Another thing that I love about working with a social media manager is there's always somebody to hype me up. 
because I know a lot of times when we get into this industry, not even as a premium content creator, but just as like a regular influencer, a lot of your peers and maybe even your family members won't support you. So having a social media manager, she will like and comment on my content and it just really makes me feel better. It makes me feel as if there is someone beside me cheering me on. So that is an option for you to consider. As well as number seven, which is hiring a photographer to take your Instagram photos for you. At the beginning of January, I did a photo shoot, which you probably have seen already. But after my photo shoot, the photographer that I worked with, we've worked together a few times and I really like his work and the way that we work together because he'll take all the photos and then he'll send them all to me and then I'll tell him which ones I want edited. So I know that I'm getting exactly what I want when I work with him. And he came to me with this proposal to monthly get together and take some Instagram pictures and we have like a set rate per outfit. And I think that this must be like a new thing that photographers are doing because a few weeks ago, I saw someone post something similar on their Instagram story. So I think that this is a really good business model. And if you're able to knock out like even a third of the Instagram content that you're supposed to in one day, simply by hiring somebody else to take your photos and edit them, then you're saving yourself a whole lot of time and I think that it's totally worth it, depending on the return on investment. Obviously, you wanna make sure that you're not getting ripped off and overpaying for shit content. So make sure that you know how you like the photographer before you agree to anything like that, but that's another good option for outsourcing. And number eight, this might be a little controversial, but the entire mission of this YouTube channel is to teach entrepreneurial skills in the context of being a premium content creator. And one of the things that several entrepreneurs talk about is scalability and how you need to build a team and how you're unable to run a business without support. So one thing that you can do is hire an agency to manage your premium platforms for you. For example, there are several agencies that do work on OnlyFans. I'm sure that there are going to be some that are popping up using these newer platforms that are coming up all over the place, but the only ones that I know of so far work on managing OnlyFans content. The benefit of having an agency behind you is that they're usually better at negotiating prices they may have like insurance available for you and it creates a network of creators that you can mingle with. I'm not saying that you should completely hand over the reins to your OnlyFans profile and only let them DM people because you need to be doing quality control. And especially if people are spending a lot of money, you should be DMing them. One of the principles that Tim Ferriss talks about in this book is called the 80-20 rule, where 80% of your revenue comes from the top 20% of your subscribers or whoever is buying your product. In this case, it is your subscribers. So one method that I like to use is to create a list of the top 20% of my income and who is creating that for me. And those are the people that I'm going to have on a list that I will pay special attention to. But if somebody just wants to buy one video or one photo, it's not worth my time to try to negotiate with them. And I don't like doing it. You have to build a team if you want to grow this OnlyFans business. And also if you want to have time for yourself, I don't think that I would have time to study for school if I didn't have the extra support of somebody helping me at least a little bit, which leads me into the ninth thing, which is hiring either a personal assistant or a virtual assistant, which Tim Ferriss talks about extensively within this book. I think that they can do a lot of the same things that an agency will do, but as soon as you can hire somebody on full time, 
they are gonna do a lot of those same things. Maybe you can ask them to do the same things your agency would do. You can ask them to do the same things that your social media manager would do. I even know I used to be friends with a girl who her ex-boyfriend was like her personal assistant, which was, it was a weird dynamic, but we're not gonna get into that. He would like set up all the lights and cameras in her content room and she would just like hang out and he would go get everything ready for her so that she didn't have to set up, she didn't have to tear down. All she had to do was show up and make content. So if you are at that point in your journey, then you may want to consider bringing on a personal assistant or if you can't afford somebody full time, you can use apps like TaskRabbit or you could get somebody to like go get your groceries using a service like Shipped or there are some other similar apps that can send people to go do things for you or you can hire a virtual assistant who obviously won't be doing things for you like in real life but they can do things like making calls setting up appointments all of those things and all of the resources necessary to find this kind of outsourced help is available within the book the four hour work week that's one of the things that i really loved about this book i feel like it had a lot of very actionable steps and it included a lot of technical information which i really love if you checked out my video about the millionaire fast lane by mj demarco i liked that about his book as well because it has real steps to growing your wealth rather than just being like kind of these abstract concepts that we're supposed to figure out. He has tons of resources, especially with websites um, that can help you outsource and also get domains for your websites, trademark, copyright, everything is within this book and it's gonna help you build a sustainable passive income. Which leads me to the final item on this list, which is to invest your time into creating intellectual property in order to build a sustainable passive income stream. This is exactly what my entire channel is all about. It's about taking those skills that you've learned as a content creator and then figuring out how they can help you going forward in life. In my video about the reasons why I took a social media break over spring break, I talk about the book that I'm currently writing, which includes a lot of intellectual property. And I'm hoping that once I am able to self-publish it, it will be an additional stream of income. And maybe like at the end of a video, I'll say, hey, if y'all wanna check it out, my ebook is available in the description below. It's not yet, but once it's finished writing, once it's published and online, I will let y'all know. It will probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, be ready by the end of 2022. So if you're excited about that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna know, once I start promoting that book, you can hit the red subscribe button down below and the gray notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload new videos. I know a lot of other premium content creators have done similar eBooks, but this is going to be like an entire guide jam packed with information. So I recommend that you come up with something similar, maybe not an eBook so that I can make some sales, but even things like taking photos or videos that you can sell online on like a stock footage website or if you are interested in music you can create music you can even do like guest speaking engagements and you can like trademark your personal brand what i really want you to remember on this channel is that this is not your job forever and that's not a bad thing. People want you to believe that this is all you're good for and that you don't have any other skills, but they really don't know all of the hard work that we put into our content and all of the skills that you have to develop in order to be successful as a premium content creator. What I hope will happen with this channel is that you will realize that this is an incredible opportunity for women. 
in a female dominated industry, we make so much money through it, even though there is a wealth and an investment gap. This is such an incredible opportunity to build wealth if you know how to make that money work for you. We see it all the time with influencers and celebrities. They'll make a ton of money very quickly and they won't know how to make it work for them. So then they end up going broke. I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want that to happen to anyone within our community. So I invite you to share this video with someone if you think that they will gain any kind of knowledge from it. And like I said, make sure that you are subscribed so that you know when I upload new videos and I'll see you in the next one.